from the knife room. Frankie, say hey. Hey. I have to zoom way back here to get all this. Back? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. It's probably already in the title, but can you guess what this selection of knives is all about? Hmm. It's kind of random. It is very random. It's yeah. a good collection. It's, yeah, yeah. Let's just go ahead and tell them. Okay. This is just what we could come up with in about an hour or so of which knives of our collection are discontinued Yeah. and amazing. Well, and there's a lot more that we really just can't think of right now. That's what I'm saying. And that's what we need you guys for. Yeah. In comments, you need to put, uh, those regular viewers, they need to put which knives that we own that are discontinued that we forgot about. Well, and I, I should kind of preface this with... Let's, wait a second. Preface? Okay, preface? go ahead. Go ahead. Um, yes, there's a lot of Spydercos. All right. Pretty much a lot of the collection of Spydercos are discontinued because well, they kind of um, get rid of them over the years. We didn't grab a lot of Spydercos. No, this is like my only like example, and then the Sleash is an example too. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, there are a lot that are not available anymore. Well, you were talking too. That's the, that's the chubby. Yes. You were talking as well, though. ZT. Yeah. A lot of ZTs. I think so. I, it makes me think that, you know, we've, we've had a lot of them too, and we've sold them over the years. Regrettably. Yes, but I want to say that there's a lot that are discontinued too. Yes, yes. Well, let's just get into it then. Okay, fine. The Chubby, you love that knife. Yes. Okay, this one, one of my favorites, this is a ZT920 mm -hmm. designed by Les George. Well, actually, and speaking of that, I know one that's also discontinued. Well, yep, go ahead. Right here. This is one of my favorite knives. It's a production knife by ZT. It was what, $200 to something? I want to say it was like 220 Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love this knife. Because it's It makes me want to get a custom Les George. Well, the 900. Also by Les George. This one's discontinued too, I want to say. By ZT. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and this one. Which one is that? Let that's me see. the 808. That's a really old one. That's a Rexford. Yeah, so that yeah. one's. Pretty sure discontinued. We actually got that one from Kevin Cleary. Oh, really? Shout out. I forgot about that. And then I sharpened it. Then you sharpened it. Yeah. Well, the 808 is discontinued? I thought so. Might be. All right. Yeah. Guys, you need to let us know. <laughs> yeah. We didn't research all of it. Well, you already talked about it, but the Spider Coast Sleash. Yes. This knife gets a lot of attention every time we bring it out. Deservedly so. Well, but isn't the chef also discontinued? I think so, but this one gets more attention. Yeah, he does get more attention. Yeah, the Sleash buoy. Okay. Love it. Every year that goes by, I love this knife more. Yeah, yeah. I will not sell it. But I was looking, my latest detail that I really noticed, this, the spidey hole in this, it's drilled really high. There's just oh. a little bit of material. Well, and, and it's lined up perfectly to be able to spidey flick him. Yeah. Well, from from the left, it's not ideal spider flicker. Spider yeah. flicker? From yeah. the right. Spider flicker. See, it's a technical even, term. I didn't even do it right. There we go. Yeah. With the wire clip. Mm -hmm. I love, love the it. wire Here, clip. I'll hand that to you. Okay. okay. What else we got? Um, we could talk about one of my very first knives. See, I got this one out. It's discontinued. It's a SOG. Uh -huh. All right, this is the SOG Blink. See our videos on it? It's probably not even that great. No. It's just an early knife for us. It's memories. Yes, yes. Memories. Okay, yeah. The IFT is kind of the same thing. Right. It's a good knife. It was my first Blade Show knife purchase. 2016. Yeah. 2016, and it's a very early Kaiser. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's a good knife. I don't know if it's great. Yeah. But, yeah. Great action on it. But he's like, I want to be in this video. He can't, though. But he already has his head all the way up here. All right. Okay. Let's keep going. What, okay. Well, we were talking um, ZTs. Yes. Another Sinkovich. Did the we have a Sinkovich yet? No, we didn't have a Sinkovich yet. A Sinkovich. Yes. Yeah, four, five, six. This is an awesome knife. Listen mm -hmm. to it. Well, and I was, I think that these are two. The 770s? That, that's the 770. Those are assisted, so yeah. that's a little, you know. Oh, they're still great knives. I, they are. They are absolutely great knives. 
um, people will give it a little bit of crap because of the assist. And and I don't think those respond well to... Uh, De-assisting? Right, right. No. But I, These ones you really just shouldn't mess with, I don't think, anyways. I think yeah. they, are, they're, they are what they are. Yeah. All right. That's the 456. See our mini videos on those. What else you got? Um, we could go into Benchmades. Now, this this knife is something truly they should bring back. Yeah. At least for a at least for a I don't know, a small small batch run or something. Yes. This is the Nakamura. Mhm. Mm from what? 2015? Yeah, I want to say that you can kind of you can find some carbon fiber ones out there here and there. Really? Um but they're discontinued, so you should just get them if you can find them. This has the clickiest action. Mhm. Mm it goes as I mess it up. Oh yeah. Yeah. These I are love amazing. That sound. These are absolutely amazing. The Nakamura. And this one is Frankie's first production mm -hmm. batch of one of the 750, 433 of 750. Nice. There you go. I'll let you give it one more deploy. Okay. Seriously? You were supposed I'm gonna to have be to, filming that. I'm gonna have to edit this. You should. You were saying just now the Yes, the this, Naja is the Civivi Naja, so this is We Knives, what was their budget brand, now it's kind of their middle Man. middle of the road brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was forty two fifty. It was an introductory knife in twenty eighteen, I wanna say. Yeah. Discontinued. Well, there's a there's a few Civivis that kind of just shows some Civivis are discontinued. So. Yeah. This was probably one of the larger knives you can find in the Civivi line. Yeah, I'll he's handy that. he's monstrous. I wouldn't say monstrous, but I, for you, yes, he's sure. He's a chunk. Okay. All right, what else we got? I got the 940 out, the red 940, just because yes. I have to. Yeah, you just have to show it off. Benchmade should do another run of red. Yeah, they should. Well, the 940, is it discontinued officially? I no. I don't think so. No, they just, there's just some new releases of some colors. This actual knife from, I think, 2001. 2000 yeah. or 2001. We have the box. Mm -hmm. It's an old looking box too. Yeah, I did send this back and they uh, they did a little bit of a refresh on it. Yeah. Yeah. But no, this is not for sale. No, no. I don't think any of these knives are for sale on the table. No, no, they're not. I'll hand you that. Okay. Yeah, that's an amazing knife. Um, well, we mentioned Wii knives. Well, I was going to go back to Benchmade because isn't this one discontinued too now? The, um, the 531 Pardue? Yeah. We just talked about it the other day. Yes, it is. I, I believe it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got him out because I thought we should at least talk Before about it. Before the bug out, you had mm -hmm. the Pardue. Yeah. Well, the 531 or the 530. Yeah, these are awesome. Yes. Well, and like the whole story with any of these knives is that if you find them, if you love them, you should get them before they go away forever. Well, that's there's a lot of that in the knife world. Yes. There's a lot of that. Okay, bench made. Um, but Wii Knives. Wii, yes. Okay. They debuted in 2016 with the 600 series lineup. Yeah. Here's the 606. This is just one of, you know, many that are discontinued. This is probably the smoothest knife in our collection. I forget about that knife a lot. Seriously. And it is really, really nice. Really nice. Like, everything about it is, like, super smooth. Even, well, like, the clip is rounded off. It's, it's titanium with a carbon fiber inlay. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And check out the grind out at the tip there. Well, and this is when they used to do the star. Oh, yeah. We have the and box. I like those. And we have replacement hardware for this. Mm -hmm. Actually, we should have got that out. Yeah. But how about the retraction on that? Oh, it's so do nice. We, do we have a smoother knife? Mm. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it really is. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Okay. And these came in a bunch of different colors. I love that about Wii, too. Is oh, yeah. They, they like their colors. That's how they debuted. Yeah. Renaissance. Resonance. Residence. <laughs> Renaissance. The Residence Fire. <laughs> there Whatever. you go. There you go. Yeah. This is amazing. This is, again, just another example of that. Well, uh -huh. is this the six or 700 year? I think it's still six. But discontinued. Yep, discontinued. Okay, what else is, um, well, we're going to have to talk about these. If you made it this far in the video, definitely give us a thumbs up, <laughs> Frankie, and subscribe. Right, yes. But those aren't necessarily discontinued, but we'll talk about that in a second. Okay. Well, same with this. Mm -hmm. This is the Microtech Macora 2. Yes. Out of stock everywhere. Mm-hmm. 
Is it discontinued? I don't know, because they might make another run. Right. That's one thing with Microtech. You never know they're gonna, if they're going to make another run of them. That's the big boy of Ultratechs. And it's awesome. Yes, it is. Is this a super step? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one needs um, a little bit of a check on, on the button. Yeah. That's one of the old style that, yeah, you it really... It, like, rips into your thumb. You need... You need some good thumb strength for that yeah. one. You yeah. need to work on your thumb strength. Well, let's have them all. Okay, just out and about. Deployed. Okay. I'll go like that. There. Okay. All right. But what are these knives out in the corner? Oh, wait. No, we have Tangram oh, we're going to talk about. Tangram, yeah. A, a true budget knife. These were 30, I don't know, 31. Yeah. Button lock. Kaiser budget brand Tangram hasn't made anything for over a year. We haven't seen anything come through for a while. Can you still get these? If you can... We'll see our videos. You should pick one up. They're amazing. Yeah. They're awesome. It's too bad that they're not doing this anymore. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. The Tangram Vector. Yes, that's right. Yeah, Vector. Yeah. Okay. I'll hand you I'll that. Yeah, amazing. Okay, we've got some folded knives still that aren't... At the time of this video, they're not discontinued. Yeah. We're saying they could be any day now. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things that you... Like, ZTs, I really... Go ahead. I, I still talk about it, but it really seems like ZTs will be like, all of a sudden, they're gone. You know? Yeah, yeah. This is the Sinkovich 450 done by ZT. See, yeah. our, see our many videos on it. If it goes away, it's going to be a tragedy. Yes. But the 460 didn't sell very well, which is the Persian version. Persian, Persian version. version. <laughs> um, I was going to say the, the <laughs> what was I going to call it? I, I don't know. I don't know. The pirate, Persian version. Pirate booty or something. Yeah. yeah. The 450, if it goes away, you're going to regret not getting one. Yeah. It yeah, is a smaller sure. knife. It's so. so awesome, though. I still absolutely love this knife. And it's probably like four years old, isn't it? The larger version being the 452, mm -hmm. very much kind of huge. All right. But who knows? Also, Sinkovich. Yep. You can still get these. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. uh, rivals the 606, or, yeah, seriously rivals the 606 in smoothness. Oh, okay. Amazing. Yeah, you can't go wrong with them, though. Yeah. I'm going to put you over um, here. I actually got a Griptilian out. Yes. This. I mean, the Griptilian has been around for a long time. They're amazing. They've got discontinued listed on some of the models. What were you saying, though? Uh, they just changed the steel. Oops, that's too hard. Uh, so, okay. So the 154 CM is no longer. I am not representing this knife well. <laughs> there we there go. you go. Okay. okay. Just cut to that section of the video. I can do that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oops, jeez. Okay, All cut right. that one out, though, too. There's, there's the Griptilian. Well, it's the mini grip. I know. Here's another Kaiser. Did we have a Kaiser? We had a Kaiser, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, the IFT. The IFT? Yeah. All right. If this T1 thumb stud titanium premium knife, if this goes away, it is also going to be a tragedy. Oops. Stiff action on these. Yeah, it is. There it is. Stiff action on these. Um, definitely one to pick up. See our videos on it? Well, and these have the old swirly pivot, too. Like, oh, yeah. that's what they used to do at the... The, when they first came out. If you buy this right now, is it still the swirly pivot? Ooh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Not sure offhand, yeah. But I, a lot of times they will make theirs just in runs, so you don't really know if they're coming back or not. Right, right. So it's not necessarily discontinued, but flip not that, available. Flip that a few times to um, to kind of redeem us, for, to kind of redeem me. Okay. There you okay. go. Yeah, yeah. You want me to just keep going and show well, you up a little bit more? Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Oh, and Is there anything want, else folded? Um, I was going to show, bring one over because I know it's your favorite knife. Okay. That you just, you, you, you were sad to see it be discontinued. Yeah. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. This is the Spyderco Battle Station. Dialex. Wait, no, is it Battle Station? Yeah, Battle Station, yeah. Okay, Dialex is what? The designer. That's weird. Okay, I, I know nothing about this. I, it, you just know that you hate it. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't know why you like it. I like it because he's just different. Okay. I like different things, okay? Yeah. And See oh, the channel over the years. These guys will know. I know. But yeah, there's so many... You That's when you can find some really weird spider coats. It's like some of their discontinued. They've like, got a lot of... They, they've got some standard everyday stuff, like a PM2. And then mm -hmm. they've got some crazy stuff, like a... Well, Battle Station. What, name name another one or two that's that's pretty out there. 
Um, hmm. Let's see here. Let me grab like another couple of them here. Here, just a sec. Move out of the cat. Dyad Junior. That one's kind of weird. Oh yeah, yeah. The double, the double blade one. So that's kind of well. Weird. That's what I'm saying. Leave it to Spider Co. Yeah. Well, and then they do a lot of these that look like like. To me, it just looks like an alligator. Still in production? I wouldn't guess so, but I'm not sure. So, huh? I'm not sure. No, there's like that. That's a weird one. Um, then the kiwi. Here, let me grab a kiwi. They're kind of weird looking too. There's just some odd looking knives. Which one is that? Oh, the kiwi? Mm -hmm. That is strange. Yeah, right? Okay. Well. I don't know. What other ones do we have that we keep forgetting about? I'm, I'm even just thinking the... Um, well, the subvert, but that's, I think, the current production. I think It'll go away. It will eventually, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. No, I think that's everything for now. Guys, let us know. This is a full table, but let us know what else is discontinued. The XL? Is it discontinued? I think this is one of their most popular knives currently. Well, but what's going on with Kaiser? Yeah, I don't know. We just haven't seen anything from them for a while. True. So, I don't know, they're still throwing some pictures on Instagram. There's but. still some sheepdogs out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, no, that's everything for now. Let us know what we forgot in our collection. We don't sell too many knives. When we do, we it's kind of sad, you know. Yeah, but it is. It's, then, to, it's to get more knives. It's always a regret afterwards, yeah. too. And be like, why did we get rid why of that knife? do that? Yeah, it's anyway. So stupid. I blame you, usually. I blame her. I blame yeah. you. All right, thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.